In this session, we're going to talk about some things peculiar and specific to the Oakland Cemetery. Oakland has a set of records that are available for it that are available on the Family Search website, and we want to take advantage of that. There's three types of records we're interested in. The first is something known as an interment card, and it's a card that was created to list the name of the person that was buried, uh, the birth, death, and interment dates, and the name of the lot owner, and perhaps some remarks. It's also a lot record, and as the name implies, this is a record that indicates who owns the lot and the people that are buried there. A lot can contain more than one burial, and so you're generally going to see several people listed on the lot card. The third type of record is something known as a register sheet, and this is uh, just yet another document created by the people at Oakland as a way of trying to keep track of the very many you know, burials that they had all over the place. So they had very different various and different indices, if you will, to try to figure out, you know, as they're looking for people alphabetically or by location or what have you. And so again, these have all been digitized and are, have um, been placed up in Family Search, and we would like to add links to them as well to round out the information we have about our open burials. So let's edit their first record and see what we find. This information is identical from what you've seen already. It's just the information that we've pulled out of the database. And uh, here we're going to want to focus in on the name and on the dates. Take a quick look at the date here. We've got the dates correct. So there's nothing that needs to be changed there. And we just calculated based on the difference between the uh, date of death and the date of birth that this person was six years old when they died. The change for Oakland Records is going to be found down here in the bottom of the screen because we have these three additional fields to record the information about the interment card, the lot owner card, and the register sheet. So you start out an Oakland Record just the same as you would any other. You would First, look for the find a grave record, the billing grave record, and the death certificate. And then having completed those, you would then concentrate on these last three fields. We look for the information over on the Family Search Open Collection. So let's go see what we can find. So here's a burial or information about a, a burial in Oakland Cemetery. The name matches up. The dates look good. Let's take a look at the image and see what we have here. And what we have here is a lot owner's record. And we can see there that Ruby Dick Moore is listed here, born 1897, died 1903. So that is a person of interest, just who we're looking for. So I will grab this URL, come back over, and I will update the lot owner card URL information. Now these records are always going to be in different order. So you never really know what order you're going to find them in. You will probably find duplicate records. So you just need to make sure that you're kind of careful about you know, where you're pasting the records and which ones you're selecting. Okay, so we found the lot owner card. Let's take a look at the second record. And this looks like an interment record. Or Ruby Dick Moore, 1897-1903. Yes, that is just what we want. So we'll take that URL, go down and update the interment record field. And we'll go back and see if we can find a registration sheet. Uh, you're not always going to find all of these things. Uh, it's just kind of a hit or miss thing. So here's the, the third record. Take a look at that. And that is another lot owner card. We don't need another one. Once is enough. And then we start losing uh, records. So there's no Ruby Dick Moore, and the dates are starting to look off. And so I'm going to just call this one and say that there is no. Um, Third record, you're not going to be able to find the registration sheet for this one. It doesn't look like it was indexed, perhaps wasn't digitized, or it wasn't indexed and associated with this particular name. And so well, I'm just going to call no joy in that. Now, had I actually been doing this, I would have already found these top three records, and I would click on the save URL record. Uh, but since I have it, I'm just going to cancel that. But um, the process is the same. Once you've investigated and found or not found all the fields, you just save it. It'll be returned back to the edit records table and you just edit the next record. And other than that, there really is no difference between Oakland and any other uh, any other cemeteries. It's just a little bit of different additional information that you need to look for uh, to help us to get the information that we want into our database.